We need that snow desperately in the mountains because the snow from last week is melting away. Meteorologist Matt Gray picks up our coverage tracking that aspect of the storm and how long it could affect the winter sports season, Matt. And it has uh, been quite the change here for the last couple of days. It's rained more in the Spokane area so far here in December than it has snowed. And in the mountains, it is no different with this atmospheric river. As a result, most of the snow that we had to start this month has already washed away downstream. So let us begin in the Schweitzer area where we started the month with about 16 inches of snow. But by the morning of the 4th, a big change, 29 inches. Today, though, less than 20 at the start of today, and certainly more has melted as the day's gone on. The snow monitor there at about 6,000 feet, and so where you're seeing in the image there at about 4,500 feet at the lodge, the story is even worse down the mountain. Schweitzer reported six inches of rain over the past two days, and they stated that they are uncertain when they will be able to reopen the mountain. Let's turn now to another spot with some decent elevation. Let's look out past 19 inches of snow earlier in this month. It is now down to 10. The average temperature on Tuesday at Lookout Pass was 40 degrees. Shows you how much of that tropical air came in with the rain as well. And it is even worse as we head into the Selkirk Mountains that overlook Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, home of Mount Spokane. And for the first time this season, these mountains had over a foot of snow on the ground just a couple of days ago. But with the elevation down around 4,000 feet, there is basically almost no snow left here as of Wednesday morning, and I'm sure it is much worse now. Mount Spokane on Tuesday said they were targeting this Saturday for opening day. But in my professional opinion, that dream is dead. There are some, or the, rather there is, fresh mountain snow, as Chris mentioned, coming over the next three days, but it is not going to make up totally for the pitiful conditions that you saw in the background of many of our screens here with how those trails are looking. And then there is the long-term forecast. If you're looking for some more snow replenishment once this next round of snow comes through over the next couple of days, well, I tell you what, things are looking awful quiet at least until the second half of this month.